I'm Heather Vail with Performance Marketing Insider, and I'm with Drew from New Star. How are you doing, Drew? Great. How about yourself? Doing pretty good. So, what exactly is New Star? Well, New Star is an information services and analytics company that has a long history in managing complex data sets. Um, New Star manages 27, over 27 billion transactions on a daily basis, um, which we provide accurate, up to the minute um, intelligence to allow our customers to make um, actionable decisions going forward on their, their information. Okay, now when I look around LeedsCon, of course I see a lot of companies who do data and tracking and offer intelligence and information. What sets you guys apart, aside from, obviously it's a huge number that you just said, but what else sets you guys apart? Well, you know, we're New, New Star's um, really sweet spot for our lead intelligence portfolio is identifying leads, verifying that the information of that leads is correct, scoring the leads, and then providing some automated decisioning around those leads. Okay, so what do you guys have that's new that you wanna let the marketers know about? Yeah, I mean, I think our big um, you know, push this leads con that we're really excited about is our um, lead decisioning platform, um, which we're calling Decision Navigator. It's in part of our lead intelligence suite. And really this is a business rules engine which allows customers to combine um, their own data with new star data and third party data um, with, with business rules around that. And it's a single application programmer interface. So one small integration to new star allows them multiple, you know, infinite number of ways that they can um, optimize their decisioning around leads. Um, so the, the big pain point that we've seen you know, in the market is a lot of um, people in the leads market, the business rules that they use around leads is embedded in their application logic. So making changes to that logic can be very difficult. It typically requires, if you want to bring in a new data set or you want to change a what-if decisioning, requires IT resources, either internal or external, that can be time-consuming or costly to bring in. So what Newstar does with the Decision Navigator tool is allows the customer to bring that outside of their application logic and allows a non-technical person, so a business person, to use a drop and drag um, menu to bring in their own data, to bring in Newstar data or third-party data, create what-if decisionings on it, and then um, automate that decision going forward. So um, some examples might be uh, a lot of lead companies use uh, CRM, customer relationship management databases, to bring in their leads. And a lot of CRM providers charge on a per drink basis, either on basis on storage or number of records. So there's incentive for lead companies not to have questionable leads in their database because they're, they're paying a cost for them. So that pain point, they can use Decision Navigator. We can pull in the data directly from the, the CRM or as a, somebody's filling it out in a form before it gets in the CRM. We can identify that data, verify that data, maybe sh make sure there's no deduplications of that data, score that data, and then say the decision back is either write the, um, that lead record back into the customer database or leave it out. And obviously if you leave it out, you're not paying for it, so it reduces the customer's costs, and, they're, and then what they're, what they're left is, is sort of high quality leads that they can, they can um, uh, you know, work against. And another scenario might, let's say it's a lead buyer that is uh, taking leads from multiple lead sellers, and they want to optimize their cost per acquisition. Uh, they don't want to overpay, but they want to make sure that they're, you know, they're, they're doing that. So they, what they could do is bring in multiple um, leads you know, from multiple um, suppliers. Again, identify, verify, uh, dedupe, score those leads. Then they might also look, let's say if it's a, a, a higher ed buyer, they may look to a third party data set that says, these are um, Pell Grant scammers. These are people that are, are trying to you know, get around there. Let's also make a, you know, bring in third party data there that can re reduce those and then make a, a buy offer at a certain price point. 
and then make the, negotiate that offer with the sellers. I'll buy it at this price. If not, I'll negotiate a lower price. If not, I don't buy it at all. So again, what they're left with is what they hope they've optimized. And then that ability to tweak that model. They can, again, it's you know a GUI interface. That they can go in and if the price is X, they can change it to X minus a dollar at any time. Or if they wanted to bring in another third party data set, they could do that on the fly too. So that's what, you know, uh, from NewsPower's perspective, we're very excited. Great uh, LeedsCon conference here, um, and you know we're we're looking forward to you know working across the companies that we do. We do a lot in um, higher education, uh, insurance, uh, moving more into healthcare, and ob obviously a lot of uh, consumer brands too. Okay, cool. So you mentioned the easy drag and drop interface, and yet the data that you're talking about sounds really complicated. So ultimately, even though a CEO or an entrepreneur could do it themselves, wouldn't they typically get a more tech-oriented person to handle that kind of stuff? Yeah, no. They, well, that's a good question. And you know, one of the things that we do in it, in it, it's it's you know, hey, let's say that one of the things you want to look at is maybe let's say you're worried about uh, people that have VoIP phones or um, you know, burner phones. We can bring those attributes into, it's a new data set. And they can bring that in and we can tell you, okay, how long did that response time take to get that information? All the information back behind that is reported back to the customer in real time in a dashboard. Um, you know, so the, the engineer that wants to get under the hood and see that can see that too. So it's, you know, um, it's to their benefit also. Okay. Why is it important to have real-time analytics? Well, you know, this is an age of one-to-one -one marketing. Um, you know, every, every site visit, every call that you take, um, customers are trying to make sure that they're talking to you on an individual basis. So being able to provide um, data that Newstar has or that other people have that allows company to do that more efficiently is you know, improves their marketing spend. Nice, okay. So if someone's watching and they want to either sign up and get started or maybe find out more about Newstar first, what do they do? Uh, they can go to www.newstar.biz. And that's Newstar, N-E-U-S-T-A-R. Dot biz. Dot biz, yes. Nice, okay, thanks so much, Drew. Okay, thank you.